sexual immorality is predicated on certain facts that you must know please pay attention the first thing you need to know is that the desire for intimacy i wrote here is not demonic most people have not studied this subject i have taken the time to study this issue of sexual immorality the desire for intimacy is not demonic now that is the problem with this issue of lust and immorality because other negative vices like lying and stealing any day any time lying is lying and it is bad any day any time please look up stealing is stealing and it is bad but when it comes to the issue of sexual immorality the intrinsic desire for intimacy was not put there by the devil it was put there by god so it's not a desire you can cast out of your life are we together it is only a desire that was created to be expressed within certain conditions it is the presence or absence of the conditions that make it right or wrong not the presence of the desire is someone learning now that what can be a dangerous thing right now the next moment within the right condition of marriage can become the greatest blessing or one of the greatest blessing are we together stealing is stealing lying is lying for instance but when it has to do with the issue of sexual immorality you have to understand that it was god that put the desire for intimacy in men hallelujah this is very important and if you do not understand this you are going to be fighting a battle that you do not even understand write this down the spirit of lust and immorality or the nature of lust and immorality is that it capitalizes it capitalizes on this blessing that god has put within men and perverts it to the destruction of the victims so it capitalizes on the presence of this desire that god has put in men and now perverts it for their destruction if you're with me say amen now sexual immorality does not care whether you are old does not care whether you are young does not care whether you are an apostle whether you are a prophet whether you are good or bad sexual immorality is not about being good or evil it's about exploiting not a weakness exploiting a provision that was put by god and if not guarded within the frame of what i will teach you you can be a nice person you can be an evil person and from a sexual standpoint you will be victims of the same thing are we learning now this is very very powerful it is a cancer that has destroyed society destroyed great destinies it is a cancer that has destroyed people from ministry to business to politics noble people have crashed down sometimes overnight because of this like i said the goal is to expose us to it not from a standpoint of condemnation but to give us enlightenment and to supply us with the tools that will keep us strong are we together let me tell you this no man will ever outgrow the temptation of sexual immorality no man will outgrow being tempted that that is that is the point the devil will come once and again for as long as you are alive because he knows that 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 nature is in every man that desire that god put so satan will be up and doing creating scenarios and creating any and everything that will exploit that provision and for one who is ignorant and not equipped with scripture and with revelation eventually you will be a victim is someone learning it is a spirit i i in in researching for this i came towards some statistics i don't even want to go and talk about right now very terrible statistics that are not very very friendly and not very funny but then 
I studied something in dealing with this subject. Do you know that speaking within the context of sexual immorality, the way this spirit works is that once you are a young and unmarried person, the devil, the spirit of loss acts by amplifying to an unusual degree. Are we together? This desire that God put generally everything god gives man he gives you power and control over whatever seems to go beyond your control has been empowered by another spirit are we together now so the way the devil pushes once you are unmarried without a spouse he will amplify to an unusual degree and I, there may be biological explanations i don't downplay you know research of medicine we're not discussing medicine now this is from a spiritual standpoint I know there are things like hormonal imbalance and the rest i don't want to go into those discussions are we together but that generally speaking he will amplify that desire beyond the control of an individual and if not protected by wisdom revelation and some of these keys i will show you you will find out that you will be a victim and then the moment you get married he will now flip flip the uh, the side of the coin by taking away that desire so you find out that you can see two people who sometimes are in a hurry to get married because they think they don't they want to keep themselves and then they get married statistics will tell us counselors and even men of god will tell you that sometimes once it happens you find out that that desire seems to just evaporate and vanish it is all the structure of this spirit is someone learning now very very important now beyond just sexual immorality there are other expressions of immorality pornography masturbation all kinds of perversions sexual immorality may be the major issue but there are many others you see the thing about the thing about sexual immorality is that it is it requires a number of conditions for that to happen number one it is atmosphere dependent number two you will need the mutual consent of the parties involved but for things like pornography and masturbation these things do not need this all these extra things so there are many people who for some reason have been able to survive sexual immorality but pornography masturbation and a lot of other bodily vices do you know the bible says a man that looks at a woman to lust after her in the mind of the spirit he has already committed immorality so there are others who may not physically act it out but as far as god is concerned they are victims because it is a state of perpetual emotional entertainment just like sexual immorality pornography masturbation and so on it does not care whether you are a man of god it does not care whether you are married it does not care whether you are single it does not care whether you are young it does not care whether you are old if left unchecked it will attack and wreck your life is someone learning now scene number one sexual immorality and related perversions there are other expressions of immorality is still under the group of immorality drunkenness drugs every kind of harm that is inflicted in the body that is inconsistent with god's pattern are we together so there are some who will say well i'm not sexually immoral but